What's up? Um, my name is Will. So, I run a design agency that's making about four thousand, three thousand dollars a month, and I'm posting on posting on TikTok, posting on other platforms. People have been asking me, "What is web design all about?" Right? Because yeah, I know I talk about things that are like um a bit advanced, right? But I want to talk about things that are for beginners. She gets so basically, what is web design? Web design is the skill or business of building websites for business owners. Um, entrepreneurs just anyone in general like for example now www.amazon.com is a website do you get so that is a website that you can build i'm not saying you can build that kind of website but i'm just saying like in general something simple that has maybe for example a hairdressing business or a laundry business or a um a food delivery business they might have an instagram page they might have a facebook page but they might want a website right they want to look more legit they want a place that people can search them up on Google and find their website, right? Or even if they don't search for them, they can just be searching for hairdressers in their area and your website will come up. So those are one of some of the benefits of having a website and I'll talk about that later on. But that's what you're doing. You're going to use either templates, right? Templates that have already been pre-made. So what all you just do is edit a few things, maybe like 10% of the templates and now give it to the client after they have paid you. Or if you want to build from scratch, that's also possible. Like you're building the whole website from scratch, like you're doing custom code. So website design doesn't really involve coding. You're not going to be programming anything. It's just like graphic design. If you have used Canva, if you have used um, like if you have used Canva, if you have used Microsoft Word, it's kind of similar to that. You're just double clicking on something, changing the text, and saving it. Then web development is not the one that involves coding. That's the one that you be coding, typing up stuff like manually. You get that is much harder. You have to learn that one for like three to six months before you can start taking on jobs. But as a web designer, it can take you two days, three days if you're not serious and maybe a few hours, three hours, four hours if you're tech savvy and you're serious to learn how to design templates. That is literally what you're doing. Themes, templates, pre-made designs. You're just going to be editing them and collecting your money. So that is the main gist of what web design is about. So now what are the benefits of having a new website for a business? Like is it just for having something that looks beautiful or does it actually have any benefits in terms of sales? Yes, it actually does because having a new website for a business that is optimized for getting more sales first of all it will help that business rank on google right it will help them rank on google for seo search engine optimization if you optimize the website through seo that's what it's called is a is a strategy that helps websites rank higher on google that is what seo is so if you rank higher on google let's say for example now i search restaurants in texas right if i search that up i will see a list of websites if, if you have searched for anything online you'll see a list of websites so the websites that appear in the first 10 um, links, the first 10 like websites you see, those websites have been optimized for SEO and they are getting free um, sales, they are getting free traffic and free leads just by having an optimized website. That is it. You get it. So what they have done is they have optimized their website. They have used a lot of keywords. They have used a lot of words, pictures that have been optimized to make their website rank higher. And some of them usually post blogs. They post like articles you understand that have for example if it's a restaurant now you might post a recipe on how to make burgers how to make yogurt greek yogurt or something so stuff like that will now help the website to rank higher on google because they have things that people are searching for and by searching for those things people will now say oh, this person is, this person has a restaurant and they're nearby let me go and order something you get or if it's a hair salon they will come and book for a hair appointment two things like that so that is it's going to be free to get those clients so you can make five thousand ten thousand how much amount of money you want to make per month yeah you get just from having a brand new website and ranking on google so that's one of the benefits the second benefit is increased trust factor right because if you don't have a website and someone is searching for you online you just have instagram and you have facebook yes those are good but having a website gives a sort of legitimacy to your business it makes people know that okay you're actually legit you're actually real and not just somebody that will carry their money around even though you can still do it with the website but it's just another platform that makes you feel like okay this person is actually you get what i mean this person is actually legit it's not just somebody that is like a small time person you understand because it costs money to have a website but instagram and facebook is free but it costs money to have a website and if the website also looks good it has some nice effects animations and it just looks good that also increase the trust even more right because if the website looks premium the instagram looks branded and premium you can increase your prices because perception is reality. <laughs> that is the thing. So there are many more benefits of having a website, but those are, those are just a few ones. So now, how do you build a website? Building a website is actually very easy because 
you can use platforms. The easiest I recommend is Squarespace, Square and Space, right? They have lots of templates for free and they have paid templates. So it's basically just editing Canva. If you have used Canva, you use Squarespace very easily. That's like one of the easiest. Wix is to be good, but it's, it's completely trash now because the editor is completely, there's no grid. So you can move anything anywhere. That is a good and bad thing. <laughs> because if you're not very good at web design, you can go and drop something at the place and the whole website is useless. So but Squarespace still has like, um, not very rigid, but it has guides that makes it easy to make something nice and customize, but not completely like break the website. That's what they want to do. Then if you're a bit more advanced like me, I use Webflow. W-E-B-F-L-O-W, right? It's also um, not a coding platform. It's just a drag and drop somehow, but it's not exactly drag and drop, but it's a bit harder, but it's also more flexible. It allows you to create even better websites. Then WordPress is also good. I don't use WordPress. I don't really recommend it, but it's also good as well. So you can just, all you just need to do is just go on YouTube, type in how to build a website using, if it's WordPress, Wix, and I don't scratch that. If it's WordPress, Squarespace, Webflow, right? There are even other ones that are easier to use, but I don't really recommend them. So any of those three, just go and search online, depending on your like proficiency level, how good are you with designing stuff, with tech and in general. So once you do those things and you learn how to edit and build a website, learn, search on how to edit templates, just learn all those things within a few hours, a few days, you'll be good. Then the main thing now is not to start applying for jobs. That is actually the hardest part, right? It's very hard. It's very competitive because um, dragging and dropping or editing a template obviously is not hard. So if it's not hard, it means that the barrier to entry is very low. The same thing with graphic design. Graphic design as well is just to edit a logo. You can go on Canva or use AI to drop a logo and give it to someone. So it's very easy nowadays. AI is also taking over. So many people even hire people for websites. They just use AI to do it themselves. So that is the reason why like, you have to step up your game. The best platform to find jobs, I've made a lot of videos. I'll probably link them down below. Or just link because like, I cannot make a long course on all these things. I might probably do that, but uh, I'm not getting paid enough to do that. So, I'm not going to do it. so I'll just link videos I've made myself and other people's videos in the description. So maybe for how to learn website design, I'll link some good tutorials. How to find jobs. That's when I make videos on, on Facebook. How to find jobs on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Opok. Yeah, I have videos on that. So I'll probably link that below. So all you just need to do is watch those videos and apply to jobs, right? There are some platforms that you have to pay to apply. There are some platforms that you don't even have to pay. You just have to use your time. You have to use your sweat equity. <laughs> so that is like the whole gist. Then in terms of delivering your website, service delivery and keeping the clients happy. Well, and payments. Most times you have to pay 50% upfront instead of the payment. So if it's a $500 job, they'll pay you $250 upfront. And then once the website is done, you have made all the revisions, everything is working perfectly. And you have added the domains, you have added the hosting for the website. To make the website live and publish it, that's when you now receive your remaining two fifty dollars, right? Then in terms of like things to make clients happy, there are a lot of things. I can't really. It's just a summary video, but well, one of the main things is just to make sure, like, you don't do what you want, you do what the client wants. This might sound simple, but a lot of people like they they, they think that ah, this template is nice. Why does the client want it? If they say they don't want it, they don't want it. If they say they want want something simple, do something simple. If they say they want something advanced, do something advanced, right? And always like don't try to argue with them too much. Just I'm not saying customers always always right. Have your boundaries, but the customer is right ninety percent of the time, nine, nine out of ten times, right? You should fold and you should compromise for them, nine out of ten times. And the remaining one time that they are doing too much, next one cannot tell them that okay this is not good. But just try to like under promise and over deliver. That is the main thing. Yeah. So um, then can I, if you do a good job, you can I ask them for a video review. You can even give them an incentive. That, okay, if they give you, if they bring referrals to you, I can give them a 20% cut and you write a contract, state everything legally, give them, you see how your business will go like crazy. So, that's just a summarized, abridged version of the whole web design. I don't realize I haven't made a video about talking on the basics, it's just like well, how to find clients, how to do this, how to do that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more content like this.